So this video is a vlog about my trip to Germany this past summer, my sophomore year of high school. I had this girl named Stephanie stay with me. She was from Germany. Um, her whole class came and I was just one of the host families. So she stayed with me for two weeks and our class was supposed to visit her class in Germany in 2020. But because of COVID, unfortunately that didn't end up happening. But luckily for me, I kept in touch with Stephanie and um, in 2022, spring of 2022, she reached out to me and was like, hey, would you wanna come visit me in Germany this summer? And I said, of course I do. <laughs> so I went over for a week this summer and yeah, it was just an amazing experience and I just wanted to share it somewhere. So um, I hope that anyone watching enjoys this little vlog and I wanna start doing more vlogs in general, just of my life, <laughs> cause I don't know. I just want somewhere to share little pieces of my life. So yeah. Um, that's what this video is, and I hope you enjoy it. The flights to Germany were pretty uneventful. I flew from Iowa to Denver, and then from Denver to Frankfurt. On the plane to Frankfurt, I thought I had the seats beside me to myself, but someone ended up sitting there, so that was kind of disappointing. Okay, this house is so pretty. I... look at... I have no words. It's so pretty. Oh my god, it's just it's so it's so beautiful. I'll try and film a little bit of it later, but it's so pretty. This house was absolutely amazing. I loved this little sunroom and their living room was really pretty too. Also, one of my favorite parts about this trip was their dog Snoopy. He was adorable. I took a nap because I was super jet lagged and then we headed to our first castle of the trip. Stephanie and her mom packed a little picnic to take with us to the castle and it was just a really nice relaxing way to spend my first day in Germany. It started getting late, so we headed back. We went to the store to pick up some food and we went back home. One thing that I did not expect is how weird the toilets are to flush here. Like you press that to make it go and then that to make it stop. It's weird. So the next day we headed into a town close to where they lived called Fulda. Um, it had this gorgeous cathedral that we went inside first and you can just see from the videos, it was super pretty. We walked around the city for a while and I loved the architecture in Germany. Everything was just so pretty. I can't imagine living in a place like this. And we went in this other church, which was a lot different than the first one, but it was still really cool. It was pretty hot this day. I think it was like 85, which isn't too bad, but there isn't any AC in Germany. So there was nowhere to really cool off. So we took a second to stop in this bookstore and just sit down for a minute. For lunch, we had Chinese food. It was really good. And we sat outside this palace, which was gorgeous. Um, we took a tour inside, but I wasn't allowed to film.
So the next day we visited the city of Würzburg, which is where Stephanie goes to college. And we first went to this really pretty cathedral. Um, and then we went to this castle, which actually part of the college is in the castle. Um, it's like part of the library for some students. It was really cool. Technically, I wasn't supposed to film in here, but I still did. There wasn't like a tour guide or anything. So I got some shots for my video. For lunch, we sat down at this restaurant and it was the only ice drink that I had in Germany. So I really savored it. After that, we went to this fort up on a hill and these clips look a little different. I was using my camera to film instead of my phone because my phone died, but um, the gardens were really pretty and you could see the whole city of Würzburg. Our last stop of the day was this cathedral and when we went inside, someone was playing the organ and it just added to the beauty of the building. So this was the day that we went to Frankfurt. We took a train to get there. Um, the train station was ginormous and everything was really cool. It reminded me a lot of Chicago, just the, the way that the city looked. Um, and later we went up into the Mates Tower, which is like kind of like the Sears Tower in Chicago where you can see the whole city. So I just had a lot of fun walking around the city with Stephanie that day. We just did a lot of exploring. I also was able to pick up some souvenirs in Frankfurt, which I was really thankful for because I hadn't gotten anything from Germany yet. This day was definitely the most tiring. We did a lot of walking. We walked up to Wartburg Castle, which is where Martin Luther was exiled. Um, I was able to record in this one. It was a guided tour, but they had an English translation on a packet. So that was really cool. I got to learn a lot during this tour.
remember, don't hesitate to call on me for anything. Like you said, a human being, I'm going to make you take that chance. Things have been different, but they haven't been that healthy. I've never met anyone quite like her. And then afterwards, we went to this canyon and hiked around that. Um, it was called Dragon Canyon. I forget what the German translation is. It's like Drachen something. Um, but it was really cool. I love hikes, so it was really pretty. And afterwards, I got to eat a German bratwurst, which I hadn't had yet, and it was delicious. So the next morning um, was pretty slow. We didn't really do much this day. I ate some breakfast, and then we went out to dinner that night. Um, we did a couple things during the day, but not much. And then my last full day, we went around Fulda again. Um, I wanted to do a little bit more souvenir shopping and I got some shots um, with my camera because my phone was again about to die. Um, but we also went around Lauterbach, which is a town close to where Stephanie lives, it's where she went to high school and stuff. Um, and we walked around there and saw some pretty things, which was really cool for my last day. My flight home was pretty uneventful. We had to wake up at like literally 3 a.m. to leave for the airport. But other than that, I was pretty tired. So I just kind of slept and watched some TV. It was pretty nice, um, but I was really glad to get home.